So if you live with other women or you work in an office with people who also have periods, it's more than likely that at some point it feels like someone airdropped you their period when it felt like their menstrual cycle has synced up with yours. Working out that you're on at the same time can feel like an act of solidarity. Was there any science behind the theory of period syncing? Well, this concept first appeared in an academic paper in 1971. There was a researcher called Martha McClintock from Harvard University who spoke to 135 women of college age living in the same dormitory. She wanted to establish if if their menstrual cycles would align. She asked them to track their monthly bleed and she did find that the ones who spent a lot of time together demonstrated that their cycles were syncing up. So some people went on to refer to this as the McClintock effect. Well, while McClintock's research confirmed what many people have been told by their friends, further research has just not proved this finding again. The reality is that more people have their monthly period at the same time than you think. It's just rarely spoken about, so at least a quarter of women are going to be on their period. But if you actually account for the fact that some people have 10 day cycles and you might consider yourself as being synced if you overlap for two or three days at the same time, probably at least a third of you are going to line up with your periods at some point. So follow up studies have shown that it's very unlikely that period syncing is a real phenomenon. Confirmation bias might be to blame for why this myth of period syncing is so accepted. People do tend to search for favor or interpret information or a phenomenon to support their own beliefs and how they feel. Finding out that someone you're close to is also on their period can feel like you have an ally in your monthly bleed, but research would suggest that if your monthly bleed is timed, it's probably a coincidence. But do you believe the scientists?